Well, I figure it's a good day for this. It's Sunday, the fourth day of the week, if you understand time and the days of the week. And so everybody's gathered, or will be gathering to church, because it's Sunday. And even the people who are gathering on Saturday, they ain't gathered either. The Catholic Church is a whore mother and has many daughters. You probably call them denominations. You probably think that Catholic and Protestant are two different things. They're not. The idea is for you to not think they are the same thing. But all Protestant is, is a product of the Catholic Church. Therefore, daughters, little whore daughters that follow the same thing as their mother. You really think that because you're going to church on Sunday that you're really doing something special for God. It has no significance to anything. You believe it does because you've been programmed and trained to believe what day it is today and that this is the day that you go to church because it's Sunday. Man changed the times. Nobody understands that. They're still thinking, oh, this is going to happen in the future because it's not time for that yet. It's already happened. You're already behind the clock. Because man has gotten so far away from God, they can be told anything and convinced of the truth, even concerning something as simple as time, which cannot be lied about. Clock's dinging. Men have been made so stupid by the whore mother that they can't even tell what truth is anymore. I do read the Bible, and I'm sure many of you are probably saying, well, isn't the Bible just a product of that whore mother? No, it's not. And I can tell you one reason that I know it's not is because the Bible still operates on true God-given time that comes from the sun. And throughout the whole, the whole Bible, anytime time is given, it is given according to that time and that calendar. And this is why so many people don't make sense of anything because they're looking at it according to the calendar that the whore mother gave them and not the calendar God gave them. So when they look at times and dates in the Bible, they're automatically on the wrong foot to start off with. So there's where you get people doubting and hating because they have no idea what real time is. There are many things that the world lies about and that the whore mother is also involved in these lies being. But they cannot lie about time because they can't lie about the sun. Now they can tell you lies about it and they can cover the sky with clouds out of an airplane. Even when the clouds are out, you know that it's daytime. And no, it's not sun worship to use the sun as your time keep. That's what its purpose is, plus giving you light in your day. Now, to all the churches out there that really think they're doing something special because they're gathering on Saturday or Sunday as their day of observance, their Sabbath day, however you want to go about it, you're not. You're not going to be able to hide behind this and say, oh, I didn't know. All this means is that you're showing your level of how far you was really seeking God, which is not very deep at all. Because if you believe Saturday or Sunday is the day to gather and worship God, you have done nothing but follow the world's plan for you to follow. And you're not going to be able to say, oh, I didn't know. Oh, I was, I was just ignorant. It's not going to work. Only the people that really know their God and know what time it is, because it's, what, it's a God-given thing, those people are going to know and come out from among that whore system. And I just about guarantee most of you out there faithfully going to church on Sunday, you probably have no clue why you're even going. And if you have a clue, it's probably the same old stupid belief that, oh, it got changed to Sunday because Jesus was resurrected on Sunday. Once again, another point that you have just been duped into believing because you don't understand time at all or days of the week. Men taught it to grandma and grandpa. Grandma and grandpa taught it to their kids and their kids taught it to you. And the whole time it's been, there's no truth to it. You just did it because that's what you were taught by your parents or by the preacher and you didn't look into it yourself. So 
this bites you in the butt of your own choosing. If an enemy wants to be successful, all it has to do is become its opposition. And in this case, that's the Catholic Church. And the signs and the evidences are in there if you know how to dig for them and see them. Such as the Roman soldiers taking Jesus' clothes. Why was that in there? What importance does that have to anything? Well, today it has the importance of telling you who is wearing the clothes. What wolf is wearing the sheep's clothes. And that is the Catholic Church. They've been doing it since then. The Rome occupation, that's who took the clothes. And then they seen, okay, if we want to stop this power that we just have no way of stopping, we have to become it. And by becoming it, they can put in all their little poison into it and throw everybody that is really trying to do the right thing or, you know, learn the right things, they can just throw them right off the path. Do you really want to get to know God? Do you really want a relationship with Him? Okay, then the first thing you need to do is stop doing stupid stuff that makes no sense. Like Sunday gathering at church. This whore and her daughters all have an end that you don't want a part of. So you can either come out from among them like the, the Bible says, or you can take part of what's coming to her because it's going to happen. So anyway, that's all I get to say. Thanks for watching.